basically how I came to the work um, was I was working on small eight and a half by 11 size drawings on just any old paper that I found, uh, brown paper, the matter. And basically I would just fill the whole surface up with the, the tiny drawings. And I thought in relation to how I was dealing with it, I was dealing with it in relation to memory and how um, memory sort of um, is a key attribute in my work as well as the politics that comes from the work. Um, I, have to get, I think I have to go back to like uh, my first indication of seeing work as a child. Um, I think I was about four years old and my mother would take us to the libraries and take us to the different events around New York and I happened to pull up this long book and I put the book on the table and she asked me if I knew what it said and I said, no, I don't know what it says. And she says, it says Jackson Pollock. And I looked at this, it was so out of flowery and it's very, you know, very dense in terms of its, its imagery. So when I opened it up, it's, you open up these great pages of blue poles and a number of different images. So density became, I think, this thing that was most recognizable. Density also became the thing most recognizable was um, during uh, the time that we spent in Coney Island. Um, it was this, this dense fields of, of abandoned, abandoned lots that just full of stones and there was graffiti and there was dead animals and everything. It was just like a, a loaded arsenal of information that was just kind of laid out there, strewn out there. And the 70s was a big thing where buildings were being torn down and it made more sense to keep the buildings torn down and keep tenants out of them than it would make actually keeping people in, the, in, in these spaces. So um, seeing the abandoned lots where it was a definite emphasis and that was in Coney Island where I grew up. Um, gradually, um, I started incorporating the politics and later I just I started working. My first body of work actually started off where it was um, very influenced by Jean-Michel Basquiat's work. And um, I, became, so I became so immersed in it that I sort of lost where my hand was truly in the work. So um, through actually re-evolving re back into the small detailed drawings, I was able to realize that the small detailed drawings had uh, something to say. So I decided to expand on those and make them a lot bigger than what they were but also keep the relationship of still doing the drawings in such a way that um, incorporate the same thing, like I said, politics, social issues, my own experiences of things I've gone through, um, the drug scene, um, the uh, psychiatric wards, you know, things like that were always reincorporated in the work somehow. Like it, for instance, this one is a more political type one. Um, it's sort of like Mickey Mouse sort of holding George Bush's head as a, as a balloon and it says repeatedly, sins of the father, sins of the father, sins of the father. And, and Mickey Mouse is screaming, Abraham Zapruda, sort of like the relationship of where George Bush Jr.'s father actually was in relation to the, the death of Robert, um, Kennedy. So Abraham Zapruda, as you know, was the video artist who, had the, who did the, uh, I think it's 16 millimeter, mm -hmm. and he did the film, and the notorious film that caught Kennedy being murdered, being assassinated from all sides. So it's like the relationship of connecting the two. Mickey Mouse is a huge icon of of American society, and I use them as an example to sort of play on that kind of idea. And then just incorporate different issues, like for instance, this individual sort of talking amongst each other, he says, you stupid son of a bitch, keep your, <laughs> keep your goddamn mouth shut. Only a handful of agents know about this operation. So it's just like this crass, I mean, I use the, cr the coarseness of, of language in the work uh, to sort of emphasize the point. I mean, I understand that sometimes using Profanity may not be a way of actually emphasizing or getting the point across, but I think in, in terms of when people are angry or people are reacting to something, they react with profanity in some way. I sense that these might be more recent works, um, and I can see from the date. Can you? And they're more graphic and works on paper, and kind of um, obviously clean and separate with leaving a lot of white space around it. Can you tell me a little bit about these works? and? whether this is the start of you venturing into sort of new directions? I think it is a bit of a new direction. Um, within, it, within any of them, this is the only one that has actual text in it. Mm -hmm. um, the, the more, really more thematic and the mass doodling, but using these as the icons, that like these houses are, are ideas of crack houses. Mm -hmm. These are representative of, of pills, Tegretol. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. um, these little icons or just little icon, little drawing icons. But then the, the design element sort of intertwines with it. But I broke the surf, broke the, the, the panel and decided to make it in such a way so it was a red background, it's a way of drawing the eye, sort of optical, optical feel, in terms of back and forth. And um, so it, this is, I guess this is very new. And I actually have been thinking about these because I was thinking about them in relation to a larger piece. Mm -hmm. um, I know Rick had spoke before about what do I see going for, and you had also spoke about how do I see expanding. I'm thinking about this relationship in terms of how it would work without yeah, necessarily having the text, but having these icons right. and how that can play as another body of work. Mm -hmm. But um, I have incorporated the text by putting like crack smack. Mm -hmm. Crack smack sort of a play on words, sort of a crack cocaine, smack heroin or else crack smack, crack across the face, smack across the face. Mm -hmm. Crack of a chair, you know, these kind of things within the dome of the house. Mm -hmm. You know, um, what is, the, again, the re framework of a house reference is always, what is, you know, um, what is the inner foundation as well as the foundation around us? And how do, how do they play within each other? Mm -hmm. So the house, again, is a reference. Mm -hmm. um, for instance, the Operation Snowman, with same same kind of mm -hmm. idea of the, the reference to um, the breakdown of the crackdown on drugs by DEA agents, which is um, crackdown on heroin and crackdown on cocaine. So I play in and around these sort of cocaine bundles here, these kind of uh, pill vials here, saying starship, 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 a term used by crack addicts to, we're going to go to the starship, you know. So I mean, that kind of idea, and then play in and around with the things, and then put the little men in there. Mm -hmm. And then what is pharmaceutical, little pharmaceuticals compared to the relationship of bundles, you know, where mm -hmm. the two mm -hmm. separate, where the two bang. I mean, who is the biggest dealer? <laughs> is it the pharmaceutical right. company or is it the, is it the guy in the corner? Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. So playing off that idea. Mm -hmm. Then again here, like for instance, Patsy, which is this intertwined, this meeting space. Um, this is an, an, a symbol that actually is on the Henry Dreyfus source book, which mm -hmm. is called the meeting, kind of mm -hmm. the idea of meeting someone, a rival, it says, but I decided to call it Patsy. So it's the idea of this, who knows what the conversation is, is between these two men and who's being used and who's not going to be used. Right. Um, so the missiles uh -huh. um, playing in around that and again, destroying the design on it, sort of mm -hmm. the tanks, mm -hmm. and, you know, more to more to more to death mm -hmm. than that. Mm -hmm. You know, sort of playing in around that. And then again with uh, Little Black Sambo, the same thing with the design. But um, sort of this character, this sort of this man being dragged by a Mickey Mouse kind of monster type individual. Who is he being dragged to? And he's sort of like a, a rope here. Is he going to be lynched? What is the relationship? Mm -hmm. What is what are we being dragged into? Mm -hmm. You know. Again, I have this this sort of love hate relationship with the Disney Corporation. I mean, I grew up on right. on the Disney characters. I mean, sure. my favorite film was Fantasia. Uh -huh. I mean, I watch it over and over and over again. Yeah. To this day, I still watch it for certain references that I can mm -hmm. use. Right, of two pictures, two pictures. icons. Yeah. Equaling yeah. this to, yeah. to this. So okay. we talk about it for a little bit then. Okay. Um, I'm noticing in many of the works this, the concept of the rebus puzzle of images. One plus one equals another one. Mm -hmm. And on this piece, I'm looking at this particularly. Could you explain to me a little bit about? Deborah, could you explain oh, to me a little yeah. bit about um, okay. this piece I'm seeing here of different icons and okay. images adding up to equal? Um, well, so this is uh, the clown, the rat, the mythology of blackness, to the the Mickey Mouse icon of the years. So it's the relationship of how these all connect to getting this. Mm -hmm. I mean. This, I mean, the safe way of looking at the relationship with Mickey Mouse is a safe little cartoon character, which was the mythology was given, that he was developed out of Walt Disney's studio. At Walt Disney had a little mouse in the studio. I've heard all kinds of stories. But um, I choose to look at it in relation to the real source. I mean, Mickey Mouse is very much the cultural minstrel show relic. And basically, I use that as this thing, as the rebus kind of thing of breaking down these in such a way so it like it um it kind of reflects what the real source mm -hmm. of the Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. You know, let's get to the, the logistics of sure. what Mickey Mouse is about. Right. You know, many artists have covered this. Sure. Uh, in different ways, and different ways of looking at it. But I choose to make it a little bit more blatant mm -hmm. and. Uh, more, let's read, read, read.